good evening class welcome to the marriage classroom where we say that we are forever learning and we are learning to make our marriages more enjoyable so that we may continue to enjoy them not to endure na kwa sababu wakati katika jamii tunakuwa wakati mwingine na watoto ndio katika wakati the last uh, several sundays tumekuwa tukijifunza juu ya parenting and the last time tuliangalia four types of parenting na uh, pia tukaangalia juu ya one of them and that is the, the authoritarian authoritarian dictator uh, na kwa hivyo kabla tuendelee siku ya leo ningetaka kumuomba tabidha tuongoze kwa maombi kwa kifupi Tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu tumekuja mbele zako jioni njema twalishukuru jina lako na kulinua ni kwa sababu umekuwa pamoja nasi hata kutuleta kwa, kwa darasa jioni ya leo tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako Roho Mtakatifu tusaidie kujifundisha na hata vile tutakavyolea watoto wetu katika msimu huu kwa sababu wewe ndiye mwalimu wetu karibu Roho Mtakatifu atakawalimu wetu tunajifundika na damu ya Yesu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen asante sana Uh, last time tuliangalia juu ya the authoritarian uh, parents one extreme ya kwamba children are there to be seen not to be heard hakuna mambo ya kusema ni yeye kwa sababu unafanya kwa sababu nimefse nimesema na ni mimi mzazi uh, na nafikiri tulikuwa na uh, several things ambazo tuliangalia sijui kama kuna mtu yeyote ambaye amefikiria juu ya a second example katika biblia ya authoritarian parent Wacha na ile tulipewa tulipewa ya nani? King Saul. Uh-huh. Kuna mwingine amefikiria juu ya mwingine. Mzazi ambaye akisema amesema katika Biblia mfano. Ama turudi kwa mwalimu pia tupatie ingine. Naonekana mwalimu hakuna mtu amefikiria juu ya mwingine. Maybe because we have not looked at all of them. Aya <laughs> sawa sawa. Okay, we do now go, go want to go to the other extreme. Extreme moja ni authoritarian parent. Ni yeye huwa anasema. Ile extreme nyingine kabla tukuje ile ambayo ina mix kiasi, ile extreme nyingine ni neglectful or an involved parent. Neglectful or an involved parent. Na kama vile tulikuwa tukisema ya uh, juu ya all the parenting kuna mambo mawili tunaangalia. Level moja tunaangalia one two the things and their levels. Level moja ni how how controlling. How much is the parent controlling? Na ile ingine ni ya responsibility. Uh, the level of the responsibility ya mzazi. Na kwa hivyo hii ya neglectful is very low on controlling and very low on responsibility. Yaani yeye sio wa kusema, sio wa kuambia watoto na pia sio wa kupatia watoto majukumu. Ni kana kwamba mtoto afanye kile ambacho anafikiria kufa kufanya. Atende kile ambacho anataka uh, kus, uh, kusema. Ana hii inaonekana kwa, kwa kawaida na ndio tunasema tunaangalia zile extremes kwanza. Kwa kawaida hii inakuwa the most harmful for children kwa sababu wacha watoto wanapokuwa wanastahili kuona a certain level of authority. Hakuna dunia ambayo haina authority na hakuna dunia ambayo haina ko control. Kwa sababu hata akiwa eh, nini mzima si kutakuwa na authority ya sheria ya nchi. Na pia si kutakuwa na control asipo asipotenda vile sheria ya nchi inafanya si atajikuta katika jera. Uh, ama atajikuta ameshikwa na polisi. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba ile dunia tunaishi iko na a level of control na iko na a level of responsibility. Lakini huyu huyu mzazi hana either hana responsibility na hana nini control. Na kwa hivyo inaonyesha ya kwamba the parents are an emotionally responsive or uninterested in nurturing their children. Na ningependa na mfano mmoja tu na kusema ya kwamba hususan wale watoto ambao wanalelewa katika nyumba ambayo either or both of the parents wanatumia madawa you know they are say for example drug addicts akikunywa hiyo pombe atajua mtoto alifanya nini aki, aki, akikunywa hiyo drugs whichever drugs they are atajali hata mtoto nini, nini, amekula nini 
Kwa hivyo unaona ya kwamba that is one of the aspects ambayo ina, inadhihirika katika watoto whereby the parents are an emotionally responsive or uninterested uh, in nature, nurturing their, their children. And kwa hivyo inakuta ya kwamba unakuta wengine wame ignore their children's emotional, social uh, need kila kitu. They are very very um, they, you know neglectful so to say. Um, kwa sababu hawapati mapenzi they don't give them affection they don't give them support they don't give them love na ndio nikasema ya kwamba unakuta watoto wengine hata wa mama uh, hajali watoto wake hata kidogo na ni mama hajali <laughs> na unajua hata 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 wale wanyama you know sijui kama ushasikia uh, kwa kikuyu anasema hata fisi fisi yanajulikana ni mlafi sana si ni kweli lakini ukiguza mtoto wa fisi <laughs> hey, mutaonana na ma, na mama yake. Kwa hivyo lakini huyu ni mzazi ambaye ana neglect. Na nikasema sana sana wengine wao ni kwa sababu pengine they are drug addicts of one nature or the other. Ama uh, pia wao wali end through the same process. Sijui kama ushawahi kuona wale wa mama ambao wa, wana they, they were street uh, they have street families eh. Yeah? Yeye yeah, aliishi katika streets na pia kwa hiyo street amepata mto mtoto ukimwangalia na vina anakana mtoto ya huyo huyo mtoto yake hata wewe sasa ukiwa mama ama ukiwa mzazi unasikia huruma kwa ajili ya vile mtoto huyo anafanya nini anawekwa that is a neglective parent kwa sababu pengine yeye pia she, he or she was neglected pia kuna aha uh, patia mwalimu hapo kidogo inaweza kuwa hata tena kwa wazazi kunaweza kuwa mzazi na kwa pengine ame prepare kuwa mzazi mm -hmm. anaweza kuwa hata si vile alielewa lakini tuseme ni wewe okay there are some cases like now pengine either if it was rape or anything umepata mtoto na pengine usiki kama unataka kumlea au haoni kama you know kuna ele, there is no attachment either to that child wakati mwingine kuna wale wanakuwa hivyo wakati mwingine i have a case of a young man i mean a young lady sorry who got raped uh, lakini i think ni katika hali yake ya kuwa uh, bad behaved lakini he was a student sasa akienda jela sijui vile alipata mtoto so nilimwona nikahurumia vile unasema kuhurumia mtoto kwa sababu saa hiyo ako hapo outside the staff room anagoja alikuwa kuja chukua after ametoka jela sasa anagojea apewe resource rip mtoto analia hapo kidogo na mtoto mdogo sasa baada ya kunyamaza mwambia nyamaza nyangao you know hata tukahurumia mtoto kwa sababu sasa mtoto hata dia natusiwa anyamaze anamuita nyangao uh, so you can see that is a more like a neglect neglectful parenting lakini kwa sababu pengine yeye mwenyewe no attachment to that child true e, inaweza kuwa ya kwamba vile ameeleza ni ya kwamba what was the process ili apate huyo mtoto hiyo process was traumatic na kwa, kwa wakati mwingine hajahili kwa sababu ya hiyo uh, trauma ile ile vitu alipitia or alikuwa pia ame, ameenda kwa walikuwa marafiki ikiwa ni mama walikuwa marafiki na jamaa fulani wakati alimpachika mimba jamaa akahepa na akatoroka hii kitu huyo mtoto anakuwa kumbusho kumbusho ya ile jamaa <laughs> unaona sasa inakuwa na mpaka hatred na unajua hiyo pia kuna ingine ambayo ni medical there, there is also parents ambao wanasafa post uh, inaitwa po, post hey, postnatal traumatic disorder depression, depression. yeah kwa hivyo anakuwa hataki kuona mtoto unaona mtoto amemzaa lakini hataki nini lakini uzuri wa hiyo ya kwamba jamii wale wako karibu na yeye wakijua anaweza pelekwa hospitali na kuwa treated anaweza kuwa it is something that is occurs once in a while in a society kwa hivyo mzazi anaweza neglect, kuwa neglectful kwa emotional and physical needs of the child sio kwa sababu ya kupenda kwake si ni kweli uh, wengine pia wanakuwa wagonjwa namna hiyo lakini tunasema ya kwamba when it comes to discipline ya kwamba hakuna authority yoyote ya kuinstill discipline unajua discipline kuna kitu moja tunataka kukaa tukiemphasize na tumesema discipline sio kuchapa mtoto discipline ni kumwelekeza mtoto ni kumwelekeza kwa tabia 
na matendo ambayo yanafanya ya nini yanastahili tuseme for example unataka watoto wako wawe wa kibrush meno kila siku kabla sio ni habit eh wae na habit ya ku brush meno kila siku kabla waende nini kulala sio mtoto ukiona ya kwamba ati ana, ans, a, sasa ameanza kulala akiwa kwa kiti unamwambia enda ukarale unajua mtoto sasa hiyo hatataka kuenda ku, ku uh, brush meno anataka kwenda kufanya nini kulala lakini usipo instill hiyo habit ya kwamba ni lazima uamuke uende ubrush sisi tulikuwa tukiona watoto wetu wakiwa wadogo wanachukua msuwaki anaweka dawa hata kabla dawa hajasugua <laughs> kiasi hata <laughs> uchafu ya meno haijatoka unaona ametema amechukunywa maji ame, na hata msuwaki saa nyingine inaachwa na dawa lakini the key thing is this a, afanye hilo jambo kabla alale na inakuwa ni lazi ni lazima sasa hapa kwa neglectful hakuna mtu ambaye anaistill hakuna authority ya kuinstill discipline yes eh uh-huh. eh hapo kwa discipline kwangu naona anachangia tu kwangu naona hata inaanza na mzazi juu kenye napanda mimi kama mzazi kwa watoto wangu Mza, mtoto anafuata venye we unafanya mm-hmm. kama tuseme kama mimi mama Unaona mtu kama niko na msichana anataka kufanya venye mama yake anafanya nini anafanya. Unaona kasichana kanaangalia mama anaosha vyombo, kanaamka kanaosha vyombo. Venye mimi discipline nianze na sisi wazazi. Hata ikienda kwa watoto wetu, venye tunawalea sisi tu, tunaonyesha picha mzuri kwa watoto kwa watoto. Juu siwezi onyesha picha baya mtoto venye nitamulea atakuwa hivyo. Nikimulea nikimuonyesha akiwa na jabu fulani tuseme for example mtoto ameenda ameguza kitu ya, mu, ya mwingine shule na ameleta nyumbani mara ya kwanza we mzazi unanyamaza huyo mtoto ni begu tayari umeshafanya nini umempanda ndani mwake huyo mtoto hata akikuwa mkubwa atajua hata nikienda kwa jirani niibe kitu si viba si vibaya juu si kuulizwa juu sasa hiyo discipline yaze tu hata wakiwa wadogo eh hey. asante asante uh, na, na, na ndio sasa tunasema ya kwamba as a parent mzazi yeyote yule akineglect discipline ya watoto wake ni neglectful si ndio na kwa hivyo mtoto hatakuwa na discipline wakati mwingine pia tumesema yale mambo yanaleta hai ya kuwa neglectful unakuta kwa wazazi wako so engrossed katika kazi zao harawana wakati wa mtoto hata kidogo huyu ni mtu ambaye anaamka mapema anaenda kazini sasa ingine anaamka hata kabla watoto wafanye nini waamke na anarudi wakiwa watoto wakiwa wamefanya nini wamelala huyo mzazi atakuwa na wakati wa kudiscipline watoto vile watoto walikaa throughout the day uh, si wamekaa tu vile walifanya si wamefanya kwa hivyo unakuta ya kwamba jambo kama hayo pia inaletwa tabidha kwa na jambo ningependa kuongelea hapo kuchangia umeweka wana kwa sababu kuna mtoto mwingine tumepatana naye juzi kwa barabara katotoka tu kadogo tu hivi anashika mawe kanarusha sasa nikajiuliza aka katoto zini vile kameona mzazi na kaka kwa barabara kanarusha mawe hata ikabidi mama mwingine akaambie wewe kakaongelesha na lugha ya mama yake sasa nikaona hapo ni kitu yenye amefuata either iko kwa uko ama kwa familia ama kwa jamii ya kwao ni vizuri tulea watoto tukiwaonesha hata nyumba ya Mungu kukuja kanisani na kuongea. Ju mtoto kama huo ukimwambia atatoke kwa. Kuna wengine wanapatana hata wa kuondokei kwa barabara. Na samani zile za zetu tulikuwa tunaona ya kwamba mzazi hata kama hata kama si mzazi wako unamuondokea kwa barabara. Uesienda kama umeja. Sasa tunaona generation yenye tuko nayo hata mzazi waondokei. Na kuna maneno zingine hata maneno wanaongea ambayo hata waogopi mzazi. Samani za kwetu Tulikuwa hata ukiona mzazi yoyote unatoroka hata kama umesimama na kijana we unajua kwamba jioni kwenyu mzazi lazima aingie <laughs> kwa sababu wakati huo pia kulikuwa na ile uh, communal upbringing of children sasa hizi sana sana ni uh, parental responsibility kwa sababu pia uki, we uki, ukijaribu kudiscipline ya mwingine hata sio kumchapa ama nini kumwambia tu usifanye hili jambo utakuta kanalia kanaenda kwa mama yake kanaenda kanaongea uongo umemchapa mzazi anakuja na ukali kwa hivyo kila mzazi ale, siku hizi ni kila mzazi alae mtoto 
mtoto yake. Kwa hivyo kile kitu tunasema ya kwamba sisi kama ya, uh, jamii ama kama wazazi hatustahili kunigrect. Pia unakuta mzazi kama yule uh, kama vile Tabitha amesema haja set rules and boundaries. Hakuna mipaka. Unajua hajawekewa mipaka. Hili jambo uh, up to this day, up to this day my 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 son is married is uh, we are uh, he, uh, you know we are grandparents lakini hata akikuja nyumbani wakati wamekuja tu na wametembea hata akienda pahali anatuambia uh, mom dad ni tunaenda yeye ni mtu mzima unajua si we are not controlling him eh? uh, anaenda na, na jamii yake anasema we are going to visit some friends uh, pahali fulani na tutarudi wakati fulani kwa nini kwa sababu kutoka akiwa mdogo alikuwa sisi kwanza when he was in their, his teenage sio kumkataza atiende akatembee na marafiki zake lakini kile tulikuwa tunataka kujua ni ya kwamba utarudi wakati mgani na inakuwa boundaries ni ya kwamba usirudi usiku unaona wewe rudi by six latest we wapi nyumbani hii unakuta ya kwamba hata yeye inakuwa ingrained and mpaka ya kwamba hata ikiwa ni kwake ana, amechelewa sa, 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 uh, somewhere anaambia mke wake nitafika ka, ka, uh, saa kama fla fulani nitachelewa nitafika kama saa fulani na sio kwa sababu ya kwamba unajua discipline ni tumesema sema ni tabia ni mwenendo wa tabia na hata wazazi si hata wazazi ni watu wa kukaa kwa discipline na nidhamu si ni kweli na ndio nafikiri uh, our sister Teresa akasema ya kwamba unakuta ya kwamba watoto wengine hawana nidhamu kwa ajili watoto wazazi wao hawana nini nidhani nidhamu kwa hivyo ndio tukasema ya kwamba mzazi kama huyu unakuta ya kwamba hajaweka mipaka mipaka ya matendo mipaka ya vile ambavyo anastahili kufanya na unakuta uh, ya kwamba hapewi matarajio you know we, we, there are no goals goals which are set ya kwamba hakuna malengo tuseme mtoto ameenda shule na ameenda shule hakuna mtu anamuuliza anything kuhusu hiyo shule ya kwamba wewe ulipata nini um, uh, ama akifika nyumbani uh, kama atafanya homework ama hatafanya mzazi hana nini shughuli na tena tumesema wengine hata wanafika ikiwa washala Ashalala. Kwa hivyo unakuta ya kwamba hana lengo, hana uh, mipaka, hana uh, mat, uh, matarajio eh, ya mienendo ambayo amepewa. Um, and unakuta ya kwamba kama watoto kama wale in most cases they are on their own. They are left on their own devices. Kila kitu ambacho wanafanya nini wanataka kufanya. They do not bother to reason to their uh, you know such parents do not bother to reason to their children's opinion. Unajua ni vizuri nafikiri in the last lesson bwana ndongo ndio alikuwa akisema ya kwamba tunastahili kusikiza watoto wetu pia si ni kweli na tukiwasikiza tuna tunaelewa kwa hivyo unakuta ya kwamba uh, mtu kama huyu ha, hana uh, wat, hana um, ha, hasikizi watoto wake there is no time for to reason to their opinions uh, hawaoni watoto wao uh, you know wanaona watoto wao kama as if they are a nuisance ama as a bother isipokuwa ni wewe mimi ningekuwa nimesoma unajua wale ambao walipata watoto wakiwa form 2 form 3 anasema isipokuwa ni wewe mimi ningekuwa nimefanya nini nimesoma ukweli sio kwa sababu ya huyo ni kwa sababu ya mienendo yake kwa sababu <laughs> mtoto kuna mtoto alituma barua kweli kuzaliwa hebu <laughs> patia Paul Pales eh, nini <laughs> kuna jambo angetaka kusema nashukuru sana <clears throat> ninaangalia hali ile kwa familia unapata e, ule mzee na mama hawasikizani mara mingi ni vita sasa unapata watoto mama anasema amerushia hii watoto baba naye baba anasema hapana oh. hii watoto ni wa mama mm. sasa unapata kuna mvurutano singine mm. unapata mzee ni vile umesema mwalimu huyu ni mzee anakunywa pombe yeye anakujaga kama asubuhi hana ile wakati ya kuonana na watoto yake. Sengine unapata e, mtoto atasoma. Mwalimu ametumana. E, anataka kuona mzazi wa mtoto. Mtoto kwa sababu ana uoga au sengine apata nagi na mzazi, unapata sasa anaenda kutafuta mtu mwingine wa nje ndio ampeleke shule. So ninaona wakati mwingine hii God broken families unaona mvurutano ya baba na mama watoto ndio wanaumia
Mm. Ni vizuri pia ninaonelea wazazi wanakuwa role models. Sio sengine tunatumia kiboko inabidi tunapewa watoto wetu kanseri. Nashukuru. Asante sana. Nafikiri yeah. Mhm. Mm matokeo. Matokeo ya hiyo mambo yote maybe tunaongelea hapa na kile tunaona tunaona saa hii katika society ya community in the whole world. Ya kwamba inawezekana tunalia kumekuwa na destruction ina nyingi sana maybe katika wazazi watoto wanarudia wazazi wao kuwaua kuwaitisha mataito deeds nini wengine sasa nakuta ya kwamba pia mwanzo tu kidogo kuna mtu amebebwa for example pastors wamebebwa na kazi ya Mungu sana ama wahudumu lakini wahawa, wanasahau wana watoto kwa nyumba so unakuta wale sasa pia wanaweza ku affect ministry zao kwa sababu watoto wanaenda astri kwa njia hii kwa hakupata nafasi na wazazi wao kwa sababu pia mapastors wengi wanaweza kuwa wame kuwa na, wa, na washirika sana wana wanasahau kwa watoto wao wanaendelea kukoma kwa hivyo unaona ya kwamba shida nyingi ambazo tunazo maybe wakati huu zinatokana vile pia hatukuinstill hiyo discipline katika mm-hmm. watoto wetu mm-hmm. so inaripakati kwetu mm-hmm. i think hiyo pia utaweza tunaweza asante sana na, na, nafikiri kuna pale tu, nikirudia pale Paul ame mention ni ya kwamba unakuta yale mambo ambayo yana uh, uh, cause these things to happen ni kwa sababu ya eh, ama hiyo neglect inakuja ni wakati watu hawasikizani katika uh, 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 boma mama na baba hawasikiza hawasikizani pia inaweza uh, changia k- k- jambo kama hilo uh, too much involvement in ministry and Na, nafikiri ndio amesema kwa sababu there should be a balance too much involvement in ministry mpaka watoto wako hawa, hawana nafasi na wewe na ndiyo sababu unakuta ya kwamba katika wakati mwingi ma, uh, on mondays wa, wa, wachungaji wanastahili ku kuwa na wakati the sabbath should be on a monday sijui kama mnajua hivyo si amehubiri sunday monday aachiliwe na watoto wa na, na, na tafadhali washirika wacha kusumbua pasta wa monday unless it is an emergency eh wacha pia yeye ni binadamu pia anastahili kuwa na wakati wake hata kumtembelea ikiwa unataka kutembelea eh si usitembelee wewe friday <laughs> sio sio ati ametoka mmetoka na yeye church alikuhubiria mande unaenda we una, na na wamama wengine sijui na wazee wengine mnataka kwenda kumtembelea ah wacha hata wachungaji wao pia wawe na wakati na familia zao kwa sababu unajua watoto wao tuseme waki waki neglect familia yao unasikia watu wakisema huko na haa ni watoto wa nini wa mchungaji unaona na saa nyingine sisi ndio tumeletea wachungaji hiyo nini shida kwa sababu watu wapati nafasi hata wakae na watoto wao kila wakati sisi nyumba ya mchungaji inakuwa nyumba ya kila mtu e, 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 kila wakati unajua sio vibaya lakini sio kila waka kila wakati thank you for pointing out those two things eh? Another thing I think just to emphasize is kwa, katika hata biashara zetu tuseme kuna hiyo scenario ya kwamba pengine baba ni mrevi au ayuko naye mama kwa sababu ya shughuli ya kutafutia jamii anakuwa over involved busy. yes mm-hmm. so anaenda new uh, kazi pengine ana unasikia hapo pande hii wiki hapo pande ile au kazi yake anafunga late kama ile ya marigiti ya yeah, marigiti kwenda kufaika huko saa 10 so mm-hmm. sasa ni kuamka mapema kwa sababu ni marigiti halafu na kurudi jioni so watoto wako kwa kibi yao so hiyo is also neglectful na ninakumbuka nikisema case moja na sitasema kwa u, kwa urefu niki nikienda shule nikakuta watoto wa bebe no baby class pre unit wakiwa wawili wakiwa uh, you know uh, body na mpaka sasa hizi jawahi kusahau hata the the trauma kwa sababu ili traumatize mtoto akinililia akifikiri mimi ni mama yake na kunifuata You actually actually one. that story I've told in my book mm. uh, navigating parenting through uh, uh, as a single mother hiyo mm. story nimepeana kwa hivyo unakuta wakati mwingine pia wazee wa mama you know, uh, kila mtoto akaona baba yake si ni kweli kwa nini tunaongea juu ya single mothers why, why do we talk about single mothers mwaniki unacheka lakini kusema kweli si mtoto akaona baba na unakuta wa baba wengine anakaa sahili anasikia ya kwamba kijana ame, amepita KCP sana ndio sasa ana, anajitokeza na anaanza kusema hiyo kijana ni yangu au ni mkibiaji <laughs> ama akisikia yeye ame, ame win goal, you know marathon 
Sasa hiyo ndio anaanza anajitokeza atie ni baba na hakuhusika katika kusaa sio jambo kulea ndio jambo ile ya kubwa na kwa hivyo hata wanaume i call upon hata wale ambao wanatusikiza kwa kwa, uh, kwa tv ama wale ambao wali, wali wana watch kwa facebook ama ya youtube Tafadhali ni kuna jambo moja ningesema hapa. Wanaume tafadhali tusiwe kama mpanzi wa mbegu. Yes. Ile imeandikwa katika Biblia ya kwamba alienda kupanda zingine zikaanguka kwa njia, zingine zikaanguka kwa miba, zingine zikaanguka kwenye mawe, zingine zikaanguka kwenye rotuba. Uh, Misi tunataka kusema ya kwamba kila mtoto ako na baba. Na wewe ikiwa ulipanda mbegu somewhere, tafadhali be very honest with your family. Na kuambia ya kwamba kuna imoja ilimea pahali fulani. <laughs> Now you take care of that child. Yeah. And, and this is a very serious matter. And I'm very very sure kwa sababu mtoto sio dhambi. Hata ikiwa umeokoka na kuna jambo ulikuwa umefanya huko mbeleni, please own up to it. Tunataka kuita ya kwamba kila mzazi, unakuta hata vile uh, ndugu yetu Paul amesema, uki, mimi nimekuwa mwalimu kwa muda mrefu. Ukiita siku ya wazazi siku ya wazazi umeita wazazi, unakuta ni kama Mothers Union ndio ni mkutano ya Mothers Union. Ya kwamba wazazi wanaume hatutaki kujumuika uh, uh, how do I say kujishughulisha na mambo ya watoto uh, masomo ya watoto wetu tafadhali when it is the, siku ya wazazi we ni mzazi we ukiwa baba we ni mzazi enda kwa hiyo shule mzazi eh ama namna gani tunasema ya kwamba let us not neglect our children nyoga mtoto kwa shule kwa sababu wakati mwingine wazazi wanataka kujionyesha wako serious serious wakati sasa wamesikia jambo shule na nyumbani huko ungefanyia hiyo ha asante kwa hivyo ni tuseme results tuangalie results kwa ufupi kwa haraka sana uh, results za neglected children moja ni poor or low academic achievement si hawajapewa challenge hawajapewa lengo hawajapewa jukumu na kwa hivyo unakuta ya kwamba hata katika masomo yao achievement yao inakuwa low sio kusema ya kwamba kila mtoto ambaye uh, kuna low academic achievement ni ya kwamba he is being neglected lakini tunasema ya kwamba children or, or who are neglected in uh, or neglectful parents unakuta ya kwamba mara nyingi mafusomo yao sio uh, vizuri tena they tend to seek for substitute role models outside the family unakuta ya kwamba wao wana, wakati mwingine wanataka kuangalia uh, na tuseme hivi unakuta hususan wasichana wakifika pahali fulani yule mwanaume wana admire a father figure more often than not those girls are attracted to people who are older much older than them Unakuta ya kwamba hata yule anambaye ana, anaona huyu anaweza unioa ni much much older kwa sababu sio mume anatafuta anatafuta a father figure. Tunaelewana? Unakuta hata ni kijana pengine pia yeye anatafuta older women. Kwa sababu anatafuta nini? Mother figure. Ndio tunasema ya kwamba unakuta ya kwamba wengine wao wanatafuta a substitute role model outside the family. Na wengine pia wana, wanakuwa very very close very close to other parents you know very close to a, a father out there very close kwa sababu kuna mwanaume pengine wewe uli neglect mtoto yako lakini kuna mwanaume huwa na keti na yeye na wanaongea na wana <laughs> I, I, i experienced that me i was brought up by a single mother by the way pengine ndio unameona nimeongea na passion mingi sana hapo <laughs> lakini kuna mzee mmoja ambaye hata ingawa aliaga uh, two years ago mimi nilikuwa naenda kwake na ninakaa yeye anakuja kwangu once in a while ananipigia simu tu anakuja kwangu tunakaa na yeye alikuwa mzee he died at the age of 96 uh, so he was actually a father figure to me na unakuta ya kwamba tunakuwa very very close uh, kwa mtu kama huyo the experience difficulties in establishing and maintaining relationships kwa sababu hawakuwa na relationship strong nyumbani ku start and to have strong relationships na watu wengine Uh, inakuwa ngumu sana hata urafiki unajua wat, watoto wa neglected parents and uh, you know neglected children hata ikiwa ni ndugu yake kila wakati wanapigana inakuwa vita na ya wao si ni kweli kwa hivyo hata relationship ya brotherhood ni nguvu ku ku establish and they tend to be impassive rebellious and lack self control akiingilia jambo anaweza ingilia kama ni kunywa pombe akue mtu wa kukunywa pombe kupitia kiasi 
ikiwa ni jambo ameingia kwa, kwa ndani yake hata wale ambao wanaingia katika betting anakuwa addicted to that wengine wanakuwa uh, addicted to mambo mengine tofauti tofauti kwa nini kwa sababu hakuwa na ile boundaries hakujua ya kwamba kuna boundaries mimi naestahili kufanya nini kuweka ama inastahili kuweko um, na sana sana unakuta ya kwamba they are prone to substance and behavior addictions ndio tumesema ya kwamba unakuta ya kwamba wanakuwa addicted and they also have a problem in respecting authority giving re respect to authority ha ndio utakuta ya kwamba wakati mwingi ndio wako njera wakati mwingi wengi wao wanaenda up there kwa sababu ya nini he doesn't regard any authority akiambia usifanye hii anafanya hiyo kitu ili ya kuonyesha we ni nani utadu unaona U, unakuta wata, watoto kama hao na nimeangalia hususan hata katika mji wetu uh, ama jiji letu tunaangalia unakuta ya kwamba uh, kuna wakati ambapo wa watoto tunaita street children walikuwa wamepungua sana uh, right now as we talk ninaona ya kwamba wamefanya nini wamerudi na wamekuwa wengi sana na si kila huyo mtoto ametoka jamii fulani si ametoka jamii fulani. Kwa hivyo unakuta ya kwamba it's as a result of neglectful parents. Na unajua pahali ambapo bapo wamekuwa sana unakuta ya kwamba kumekuwa pia na vitu kama pickpocketing, wizi kidogo kidogo hapa na pale. Kwa sababu ni lazima survive. Akikuja hapa anaomba pesa, wengine anajaribu kupaki gari, hakuna mtu ambaye anapatia yeye kitu. Na ubaya tena akipewa ile kidogo anapewa, anaenda kununua gum. Unaona hata sio chakula. Unaona ya kwamba such a result of neglectful parents na unakuta ya kwamba ikifika wakati wa uh, kushikwa na sheria wanakuwa mkono mbaya wa, wa sheria na unakuta wengi wao sana wameshikwa wame yeah e, nataka kuongezea hivi tujue kama sisi wazazi au watoto hakuna kama mimi siku andika application nizaliwe nizaliwe na nikalelewa vizuri na wazazi wangu wako nitupa. Mbona kama wewe mzazi ama wewe baba unaachilia huyu mtoto wako, we mama unaachilia huyu mtoto wako ili hali wewe ukuachiliwa? Eh, tuwajipike kwa watoto wetu, tupende watoto wetu. Sasa ukweli kabisa, watoto mtaani wamekuwa wengi wengi sana. Na watoto wako na jamii ticha. Hata sasa hii ukitafuta hata watoto watano, eh? Mtoto anakupeleka mpaka kwao. Unakuta hiyo familia hata wako sawa si ile tu ati wako masikini eh lakini kuna ile kitu ya kudharau hata watoto unaona mtu anaona ni kama ako na watoto wengi mtu anaona kama uchumi wa Kenya venye huko unaona kama mtoto wako ndiye amekuja kuleta huu uchumi kuwe nini ikuwe gumu unachilia mpaka watoto <laughs> na sio mtoto mtoto eh. the children are innocent yes ah mm. <laughs> uh, mimi pia ningechangia niseme kama kuna ulegevu katika familia acha niseme ni sisi wazee wakati mwingine tunakosa kujukumika kwa kiwango ambacho tunatakiwa kujukumika wanaume wengi na mimi nikiwa mmoja wao wakati mwingine unakuta makosa ya mtoto sisi hatujuagi ukitaka kujua character ya mtoto naenda kwa mwalimu ama kwa mama yake unakuta mambo mingi ya mtoto hatujui na unakuta sisi ndio kichwa ya nyumba na nidhamu isipotoka kwa mzee wakati mwingine mama huwa wanamuigino na anakosa kutimiza ile mambo anatakiwa kutimiza juu ako na juti nyingi za kuvua nguo za kufanya nini sisi wazee wakati mwingine tunakosa time na watoto wetu na wakati umekosa time na mtoto wako hiyo time lazima ikuwe occupied na mambo mengine either kwa simu ama kwa tv ama mambo mengine mabaya kwa hivyo mimi ningesema hivi sisi tukichukua majukumu yetu kama wanaume jamii zitakuwa restored na, na, na fikiri hilo ni jambo ni mwito ambayo umekuweko hata si tumesema hapo mbeleni wanaume 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 kuna mwito kuna mwito ya kwamba tuchukue majukumu yetu kwa, kwa, kwa uh, tuwajibike kwa majukumu yetu uh, tu, tuwe, tuwe serious na majukumu Jeffrey you want to say something eh unakuta ya kwamba vile wazazi wengi kama vile amesema unajua wazazi wa mama mibi wanaweza kushindwa na, na, na huo mzigo wakiachiwa na wazee unajua mama akitoroka ama akienda mahali ndio na watoto wake lakini wazee wanaenda single anaweza kukuta wamerara tu kwa Murango Street Watts hana shughuli huko nyumbani hiyo ni visa zimekuwa zikiendelea mpaka kwa mita yetu saa hizi wazee wengi ni kama tu vile tu wako tu 
forgive me to say that but it is the truth lakini wakuta ya kwamba kuna watoto wengine walikutwa wakapelekwa children's home walienda Nairobi lakini hawakujulikana kwao ni wapi wakachukuliwa wakapelekwa ma children's home lakini baada ya miaka mingi ama miaka michache unakuta kuna mtu ana ana nufumia kwamba maybe watoto fulani ama mtu fulani anakuwa children's home fulani so nikiwa na nilikuwa nauliza role ya watu wao ama mzazi mzazi yule aliachilia ama waliachilia mtoto anatakiwa kufanya nini ili aende wachukue wale watoto wa, kama chudu ama anatakiwa kuachilia badala kuangaliwa na wale watu na, na nafikiri nafikiri uh, the circumstances za, za, za vile inafanya waende katika children's home ultimately ni neglectful parents ultimately lakini ningetaka kusema ya kwamba sio hususan wa umaskini ambao unafanya watoto parents wawe neglectful kwa sababu kuna watoto ambao wame, wazazi ambao ni maskini hoe hae lakini ikiwa kitu ambacho anapenda ni hawa watoto wake wengine pengine wetu tulilelewa katika jamii ambazo hakukuwa na mali lakini unakumbuka vile wazazi wali struggle kukufikisha pahali alipapo walifanya nini walikufikisha wa, 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 wa kwa hivyo sio necessarily poverty ni ile ni ile ya kwamba tunasema ya kwamba roho ya uzazi you know the, the spirit of parenthood ya kwamba kuna watu ambao kama vile ambavyo amesema wale watoto wale, wale watoto ambayo hiyo story ambayo alikuwa mention anaenda a certain school anaenda a certain school yeye in Nakuru county anaenda kuhubiri anaona ya kwamba mtoto wakati kabla kwenda kuhubiri si umepewa kiti samu ya uketi mtoto amekuja ameketi next to you alafu we umeenda umehubiri umeitwa uende ukunye chai ili kabla wa kurilisi pali ambapo kuna huyu mtoto anakufuata alafu hata dada yake anamfua anamfuata wanaenda wanakunywa chai yeye ana shughuli anamuliza hata mpaka anauliza mtoto unaitwa nani anasema Arafu anakunywa chai wakati wa kuondoka yule mtoto anaanza kulia kwa nini kwa sababu mtoto ako nursery school lakini ako boarding nursery school lakini boarding na dada yake kwa class 1 na ako boarding was it class 1 or class 2 class 1 ana ako boarding sasa baada ya akianza kulia anatan kwa yeye anamuuliza kwa nini wewe unalia The boy is still crying. So anauliza dada yake, "Why is your brother crying?" Anamwambia, "Unajua unafanana na mama yetu." Kwa hivyo he is confusing you with my with our mother. Unajua huyo ni mtoto ni mtoto ambaye hajui mama yake. Mimi nakwambia as much as hata ukimwangalia saa hizi <laughs> she is becoming <laughs> emotional about it anasema no but you can be able to see it she became very emotional about it kwa sababu yeye akiwa mzazi how do you do that basically tunasema wakati alichunguza huyu mtoto hakuwa mtoto mama yake na baba yake wako na hawakuwa hawakuwa maskini unasikia hawakuwa maskini Unakuta ya kwamba tuseme ingine kidogo ya kwamba my sister taught in a certain primary school. Mtoto wa class 3 akawa mgonjwa boarding. Akawa mgonjwa. Mama yake akapigiwa simu akiwa Eldoret. Shule iko Nyandarwa. Si semi ni shule gani? Akapigiwa simu. Lakini wakati alipigiwa simu si mtoto amepelekwa hospitali now na the class teacher. Who happened to be my sister? Amepelekwa huko imesemekana hospitali ya Nyahururu. Uh, district hospital imesemekana ni lazima ala alale mtoto wa class 3 si ni lazima arare na mtu mzima sasa ni nani alilala na yeye si it's my sister mwalimu ndiye analala na yeye the fo- ba- mama yake alifika the following morning wakati alifika akasema akakuja akamwambia m- uh, mwalimu asante sana kwa sababu ya kuniweke uh, kunikalia na mto na mtoto na mtoto bado hakuwa discharge akauliza atadischargeiwa siku gani akaambiwa lazima tukae tukimuo observe sasa aka, akaenda kwa mwalimu akasema mwalimu mimi niliacha biashara yangu si ukae hapa nitakulipa hizo ziku utakafa <laughs> yani nataka kusema ya kwamba una unadhamini biashara kuliko mtoto eh hey, pesa kuliko 
mtoto. Tunataka kusema ya kwamba let us not be neglectful. Wacha tumalize hii na kusema ya kwamba watoto kama hawale unakuta ya kwamba wanakuwa pia na something we call inferiority complex. Hana ile assertiveness. E, you know, a, anajiona akiwa duni ki, e, e, kidogo sana uh, as they, they do not receive parental affection and attention. Unakuta mtoto kama yule ana struggle na self esteem. Poor academic grades pia turi tu, hiyo tumesema si ndio na e, sa nyingine hiyo uh, poor academic grades ina inakuwa inakuwa um, affected ama inakuwa kwa ajili ya ile uh, whatever self esteem self esteem yake iko chini hata asipofaulu hata haoni kama ni jambo wakati mwingi unakuta ya kwamba wako unhappy and depressed they are very prone to depression kitu kidogo akikutana nayo inasumbua yeye mpaka pengine unakuta ya kwamba ameingilia hata madawa ya kulevia. Uh, kwa hivyo tusinigrate uh, um, watoto wetu Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 inasema fathers do not provoke your children to anger but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Tusiwa provoke si hiyo hata hiyo ni kuwa provoke kwa jia nyingine. Aha katika Biblia kuna mfano yeyote ambayo unaweza kuona ya mzazi ambaye alikuwa neglectful Unajua saa nyingine tukisoma Biblia tunaisoma with a lot of positive uh, positive what aspects such that tukifika mambo kama haya tunaona kama haiwezi patikana katika Biblia <laughs> Kuna mtu yeyote ambaye unastahili una una, una, una Unajua sitaki kuwapatia Uh, uh, you know wale ambao wanatuangalia katika Facebook ama YouTube andika yule ambaye unaona kama ni yeye hapo hata kabla niseme mmoja tu kuna yeyote ambaye unaangalia uh, although the story of Jabez turns out right na shidwa kwa sababu hata tunatajua tu majina lakini kuna vile huyu kijana yeye mwenyewe aliona mimi ni nitayakuwa baya kama itaendelea hivyo ikoda upon the name of the lord i think even hiyo kuitwa jabez na kun kama aliachiliwa tu akae vile ilikuwa inaka halafu akaona i think i need to, to i don't know okay i'm uh, i'm not very sure i'm not so very sure about that kwa sababu <laughs> no, una, una, unajua okay, uh, sababu ya kufanya hivyo mm. i don't think i myself had neglectful parents lakini i called on the name of the lord na mungu akanijalia So as that, that is why I <laughs> the, the name of the father is not written. In sorrow. Although in the olden times walikuwa wakinamu watoto kuligana na whatever. Eh joy free kwa haraka sana nimerudishwa nyuma sana about Adam our father maybe kama angekuwa strict na Cain and Abel lazima walikuwa naona kuna kitu haiendelee vizuri kwa hata hatukutajiwa baadaye uh-huh. na kwamba alifuatilia kujua hiyo maana ni Mungu tu aliingilia asante asante i think that now that's a that's a, a, a nice example yeah. wacha nipatie tiane moja peke yake unajua king david has very many many positive things King David was a man after God's own heart. Lakini as a parent, mimi naona ya kwamba he is one of those uninvolved parents. Kwa nini? Ukiangalia katika by the way, even another one, nimekumbuka Eli and his children. Walikuwa wanafanya kila kitu ambacho wanataka kufanya na ndio Mungu akatuma hata judgment kwa hiyo jamii. Si ni kweli? Baba yao hakuwa akiwauliza jambo lolote. Huyu King David naye, he did not discipline his children when it was needed na unakuta ya kwamba ndio wata, uh, sababu watoto wake wakaingia katika dhambi unakuta huyu huyu jamaa uh, Amnon anaenda anatamani dada yake Tim uh, Tamad na anajifanya ya kwamba anaenda anajifanya ya kwamba ni mgonjwa mpaka anakuja anamshika kwa nguvu anambaka dada yake the step sister unakuta na unakuta ya kwamba after that Even David did not do anything. That is why Absalom uh, dada ya huyu uh, uh, Tamal alijua ya kwamba ni lazima nitafanya nini? Nitalipisha kisasi. Ukiangalia hata 
even most of those other uh, his, of his children is like david alienda kwa vita ndio aliongoza you know the country very well lakini i think he was an uninvolved parent na sisi tusiwe kama yeye ama namna gani asanteni sana even our viewers thank you for being part of this class na ninajua ya kwamba you will continue learning and learning to make our marriages and our families more enjoyable ama namna gani asanteni sana